Well, what else can you say about Jose Aldo Jr.? Strong ground game, knockout power is there, some of the best leg kicks in UFC history. Representing Nova Uniao, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, still the man considered by many to be the greatest featherweight in the history of mixed martial arts. Jose Aldo has devastating Muay Thai techniques, and to go along with that, he has a world-class ground game. We very rarely see that ground game, though, because his striking is so incredibly effective. So here's the combat Sambo master, and according to many, a future UFC champion, the Dagestani Khabib Nurmagomedov. Thus far, perfect 24-0, undefeated in the UFC. And this is just one tough customer. Mean, nasty, has the requisite heart to go with all of those skills. He'll take you down, you'll have a hard time getting up. Joe, this is one tough out at 155 pounds. This guy can keep a pace that very few human beings can match. His cardio is absolutely outstanding. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Nurmagomedov is 29. Aldo is 31. Nurmagomedov is three inches taller. The reach is identical. Now here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. And now he's using his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. We are underway. He's much more unpredictable, that's for sure. Aldo is incredibly effective, but most of the techniques you're seeing are left kick, right kick, knee, punch, punch. This guy will throw wild stuff at you. Oh! What we might see here. Keep an eye out for Jose Aldo's counter strikes. He has vicious counter strikes. He's very good at catching his opponents as they move in and trying to close the distance. Oh! Oh! Tagged him in the left. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yeah, Joe, near perfect technique to land that seminal blow to finish the fight here in round one. And that's exactly the way a fighter draws it up. You don't absorb anything in terms of significant damage, and then you're able to knock your opponent out. So this is exactly the desired result for him here tonight. And here's the end. Let's see it again. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Crank right on the jaw. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Habib the Eagle. So the internationally recognized Sambo master, Khabib Nurmagomedov, stays undefeated here tonight. And the more often than not in the UFC, they have been unable to stop it. Khabib Nurmagomedov remaining a major threat in this UFC lightweight division.
Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, let's start with the kicking technique because it is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph a thing. And I think what really jumps out of the film room for me is his ability to get his foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. A lot of guys just don't even see it coming. And he doesn't discriminate. He'll attack that lead leg. He'll go to the body. Beautiful head kick upstairs as well. The technique is really what sets up everything to this guy's game. And his opponent certainly weary of what's coming back with those kicks tonight. Apparently, he worked tremendously hard on cardio for this camp. Well, if you want to tell me that this particular fighter is on the wrong end of the power equation, I'll give you that. But few guys can match his speed and his footwork. Prevailing wisdom is he'll try to fight on the outside tonight, stick and move a little bit, exceptionally quick on his feet, sets up angles beautifully, manages distance as good as anybody on the roster, knows how to set up his attack, figures to be a big part of the strategy tonight, given the power that's coming back. This guy can keep a pace inside the octagon that is literally a shocking thing to behold. His opponent is in deep trouble if he comes into this fight out of shape. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters are 27. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Monster! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting on the floor, ladies and gentlemen, Brazil, the Destroyer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Team. Herb Dean, our referee. Ready to fight? Ready. Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night tournament. Let's go. Let's get those hands going out. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. That one hurt. Slips the punch. Tagged him with the Superman punch. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. Try to establish that jab. And he connects with the punch there. Lands a jab. Good exchange there. Doesn't connect here with the Superman punch. Oh, Superman! Throwing that jab, no good. Keep your hands up. Nice open. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Right 
punches there. And he connects there. Oh, he's hurt. He's got to be careful here. Oh. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big straight punch. Oh, huge Superman punch. Oh! He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Oh! Big shot. Oh! He's out. Gigantic hook that got him the win. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Let's see it one more time. Look at the power in this hook as it lands for the knockout. Great angle here. Bam! Lights out. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by so there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win.